Hey guys, today I thought I'd talk about my um, new Kiesel AM7, which arrived uh, almost a month ago, I think. <clears throat> um, so yeah, just to give you guys an idea if you're thinking of, of getting one or, um, you know, on the fence about it, uh, just what you guys can expect and my, my opinions about it, because I've noticed there aren't many videos about them. Yeah, so obviously relatively new. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll start with the specs. I went with the standard Alder body. You can see there where the paint comes off. Um, we had a flamed, standard flame maple top um, in an aqua Cali burst. Uh, so basically, what that is, sort of non standard finish. You have to call in for that or email them about it. But basically, it's sort of blue around the outside. And then um, it sort of fades into like, you know, uh, just a natural maple. Uh, but you also get these sort of black stripes, which hopefully you can see. Um, and it just looks amazing, I think. Um, then just the white lithium pickups which are great, no need, no need to switch them out for bare knuckles or anything, they're perfectly fine. Um, then I got rid of the, the tone knob and just kept the volume knob because I don't really play with the tone knob, it gets in the way anyway. And um, that actually made the order take quite a bit longer. So I ordered this on the 25th of November and it came uh, on the 22nd of February. So that's quite a bit longer than the sort of nine week sort of estimate. Uh, but apparently they had to sort of do this all by hand because uh, I'm guessing their machines aren't programmed to just drill one volume knob. They always, they're programmed to probably drill the two holes for the tone knob as well. Uh, so they had to do this by hand. So that took slightly longer. So bear that in mind, if you guys are ordering sort of non-standard options that that could, you know, make your waiting time quite a bit longer but I think it's worth it and I didn't mind the wait to be honest um, moving on to the fretboard I went with the uh, non-streaked ebony fretboard um, so the standard ebony board has it says like may have streaking so you know some like colorations uh, which you know I, I do like figuring and stuff like that but I thought for this kind of more modern design with this finish um, I think you know just a nice and dark ebony board would look best and it definitely does and it's incredibly smooth and nice to play then stainless steel frets jumbo um, with the offset dots um, just their standard sort of offset pearl dots. Um, originally I wanted to get, you know, a board with no inlays whatsoever. But when I saw they were sort of doing it where at the 15th fret, it changes over to the sort of low end of the fretboard, the bottom of the fretboard. I thought that looked really nice and cool and definitely does, so I'm glad I got them. Then I got the Luminlay side dots, which I believe glow blue in the dark which is awesome then on to the sort of headstock i got the matching headstock so it's also got the cali burst going and then the white kiesel logo with perloid truss rod cover and perloid tuning heads uh tuning yeah tuning heads and then the kiesel locking tuners at the back which is standard then the neck is uh bolt on all their Aries mo uh, models are bolt on. Uh, so I got a maple five piece with um, two walnut stripes going down the middle. And yeah, and as you can see, I didn't actually ask for this, but at the back, they basically did a burst finish at the back as well, where it's just blue around the outside and then in the middle, uh, it's just the natural wood, which I think looks really nice. And everything, so the body's in a satin finish as well which I love because obviously no fingerprints and I think it looks really you know nice and unusual not to have like a gloss finish 
and then the neck is tongue oil which makes it incredibly smooth and just amazing to play and also the neck I went for the thinner option so they have your standard option your thicker option and your thinner option so for the thinner option I think it was $60 um, they obviously make thin out the neck a bit and I think this is one of the most comfortable neck profiles I've ever played um, I'm an Ibanez player so I'm used to really skinny necks and although this isn't this is very skinny but I wouldn't say it's as as, as thin as um, an Ibanez wizard neck especially on the sort of <clears throat> it's not as thin as like a prestige Ibanez neck uh, but <clears throat> I'd say it's a way more comfortable shape and it's just just a perfect shape I think and it's just before this I'd never played a seven string well I had played a seven string I never owned a seven string and sort of the neck didn't feel like massive um, it was just very comfortable to play um, and that's sort of the story with this guitar the playability is amazing so everything is just so comfortable about it um i guess obviously the main the main part of this guitar is the sort of fan fretting which i think is at a very comfortable angle um it's not too drastic so the the straight frets at the ninth fret and then it's very gradual uh fanning and it actually goes very naturally with the sort of um the way your sort of hand is positioned when you move across the neck. The only part where I think it gets a little bit uncomfortable is uh, just when you, for chord shapes around the sort of first to third fret, uh, sort of there you have to, I think, sort of tuck your elbow in quite a bit more to get your, your hand to follow the fanning properly, uh, which I think can get a bit uncomfortable sometimes, but Overall, the fanning, I think, makes it way more comfortable. Um, and yeah, quality is like great. I mean, for the price, you can't go wrong. Uh, there's no one that, that, that I think can produce a guitar of this quality for as low as price as Keys or Carbon can. Um, and the sound is great. I mean, this guitar is super, super resonant like just sort of acoustically it's it's very very loud and you can kind of feel the resonance throughout the body when you're playing the body is like resonating like hell and you could sort of feel it when you have it against you uh which is really nice um i don't think i've ever played a guitar that's been this resonant especially for one that's a bolt-on uh construction so yeah it's um, a pleasure to play. Um, I definitely suggest if you guys are on the fence about this or if you're put off, put off by the fan fretting. It's nothing to worry about. The fan fretting is very natural. It took like five minutes to get used to. And if anything, it makes the guitar more comfortable to play, particularly, uh, you know, a seven string guitar. Um, to be honest, I don't think it's worth getting fan frets for a six string because they all they also offer this for six string Aries. Um, I don't really think that's worth to pay. You know, they're quite a bit more expensive than your standard Aries, and I don't think that's really justified for a six string. But I think for a seven string, the fan fretting is just great. It keeps everything nice and tight in the low B, and then it doesn't make you know the higher strings like really difficult to bend as you would get if you just had a standard 27 inch scale for like every string um so obviously this goes from 25 and a half for the high e string to um 27 for the low b so the tension's really nice across the board and yeah it sounds great i mean i think i had to turn the treble down a bit on my amp because these are quite, you know, I think a bit trebly, but um, other than that, they're very clear. Um, they're not too high output, so it keeps all the notes very nice and clear, even on the quite high distortion. 
and you know for for a seven string i think that's important because a lot of seven strings you know once you're playing like big chords like down here or here or just like chugging on the sort of lower strings can get very muddy especially with a b string so i think the combination of the pickups and the fan fretting makes this guitar you know very clear and you know you're a great recording guitar i guess um, but yeah, I think that's about all I have to say on this. I mean, yeah, as I said, if you're on the fence, just get one. Um, you'll be very happy. Um, in fact, you know, this turned out even nicer than I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, so yeah. Um... Yeah, Kiesel, Kiesel as a whole, you know, I don't think, I think they're doing amazing things at the moment. Um, so I'd say if you're interested in any of their guitars, not just these ones, I'd say obviously their quality is the same across the board for all their models. So I'd say definitely snag yourself one because um, just the quality to price ratio is unbeatable. Um, so yeah, I hope this guys, uh, this could give you some more information on these new, uh, multi-scales that they're doing. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. I'll try to reply to it as best as I can. And, um, I guess I'll also put the, the exact specs of this guitar in the, uh, description for those who are interested. But yeah, other than that. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you later in another video.